And we just want to talk to you guys today about abortion. What is the future of abortion? How do you even define abortion? Is abortion right or abortion is wrong? I'd just really love to talk to you guys, hear your opinions. This is more about you than it is me. I'm not here to preach at anybody. But I really want to hear your opinions. What is it that makes abortion such a hot topic? It's your favorite topic. She said, we have we have first person here says abortion is her favorite topic. It's actually my favorite topic to talk about too. You want to talk about it? Do you have a question? Anybody have a question about abortion? Can anybody define abortion? Can you define what an abortion is? It's a medical procedure that does what? Ah, if you have a question, talk to Joseph over here. I'm ha I really want to hear your questions. I really want to hear from you. Why would you say abortion is right? Or why would you say abortion is wrong? Why is it such a hot topic in America today? The US Supreme Court decided that it's no longer their job to define abortion right or wrong, and they gave it to the states. And here in California, you've passed a constitutional amendment, huge. You, def you redefine your constitution to include a medical procedure that allows you to do a medical procedure on an unborn fetus all the way till nine months. How many people have been nine months old before? Anybody? I've been nine months. How many people have been eight months old? How many people have been 10 months old? Any 10 month old? people here? Anybody ever been 10 months old? Bottom line is the most pro-abortion people in America are college age young men because they want to be able to have sex without consequences. They want to be able to exploit the women on the campus. Men, let's let's have your uh, let's have your opinion on abortion. Why don't you come and share or what you think? It's not just a, a woman's issue. You can't have a baby without a man. So men, what do you think? Do you love having abortion on demand, or do you think that's an injustice? Even this week, and, and all I know is that you're are you spewing some religious shit done. on our campus. So please, let's talk about abortion. I would love to talk to you about Dude, abortion. That's why we came here. Thank you. <laughs> so exactly I personally right. have had two abortions, and it saved my fucking life. I'm 29 years old. If I had two children right now, I would be a fucking mess. You want to put women in a box? You want to tell me what I can and can't do? Guess what? Roe v. Wade was overturned. I had my rights taken away, and now I have to come in and listen to your bullshit. You I'm gonna it? say bullshit because it's bullshit. I love Planned Parenthood. I had an abortion last year. God bless. And I'm sorry that you lost your child. We'll pray for you. The young lady came a couple minutes ago and said that she had two abortions, and that saved her life. So that's a relativistic uh, idea here, that she killed two children to save her own life. Is that right? Or is that wrong? Are you a woman? Yes. Are you a woman? Yes. Thank you. However, we're talking about the 99.9% .9 of the cases where abortion is done for convenience sake. Mom says, like the previous young lady, that her life is worth more than the baby's life, so it's okay to kill two of your children to save your life. It's wrong to kill all human beings. But the current state of affairs in the world today, the common religion is humanism. And that teaches you that you're meaningless. Your hopes, your dreams, your desires, your love, goodness is meaningless in the face of the fact that you're nothing more than mass energy coupled with time and chance. And when you die, it's zero. Nothing happens. But we're saying that there's a God of the universe that loves you, that you're created in his image and likeness, but he also made an eternal law structure for all people to live by. And that is a truism. There is a definition of right or wrong. If you've got a different definition of right or wrong, I, I'm welcome to hear it. I'd love to hear it. Let's debate what is right and what is wrong. Do you ever turn on the TV and see something you don't like? What do you do? You change the channel. So do I. So do I. This is my taxpayer money, too. Did you just ask me a question? I don't know. Did I? What's the question? You said, why are you making me angry, right? I said, why are you angry? Yes, yeah, so you did ask a question. 
So how about you give me the freedom to answer your question and stop interrupting me? Would that be good? Go. Don't fuck me like that. I am angry because you are bringing your religion onto our campus. Whether I'm religious or not, you're shoving your religion down people's throats and you're using your religion as a factual statement. Because God does exist, and that's a fact. That's an opinion. So you're angry at God, not me. No, I'm angry because you are shoving your you're opinion down people's You're angry at God because throat. God said, no. thou shalt not murder. Do you understand the statements I'm saying? I'm really trying to understand your statements. I am not angry at God. Or you just said you were angry. I said I'm angry because you're shoving your opinion down people's throats. I'm angry at you because you guys are not listening to other people's opinions. If you're going to come here and speak on a college campus with people that are in college courses, you should be having a conversation, not believing that your opinion is the fact. And you're not doing that. Uh, we, you have a microphone, I have a microphone, there's dialogue, so we are having a conversation. No, because you can't You may not me like earlier. what you're hearing, but guess what? There is an eternal God who created you in His image and likeness. That is an opinion. He did. He did, that is an opinion. he did create you in His image, and He did give us a law. And the sixth commandment says, "Thou shalt not murder." And that is an opinion. It's not an opinion.